Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Bullish or Bearish. My name is Tony Chu. I'm here with my sister, Angela, who you'll see in a couple of seconds. And we're from Success Options Group. And we're here with an, uh, another episode where we're hitting upon one of those hot topics, hot financial topics that you've been really looking into. And we're going to give you both sides of the story. So really, you know, being able to have both sides of the story lets you make better decisions on what's actually right for you. And not just everybody, but just you specifically. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about margin. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about margin. And people talk about whether it's good or it's bad. And I'm going to give you like why margin is great. Because think about it. Margin lets you make more money with less money. So it allows you to borrow money to actually make trades so that you can actually make more money. And it, it's a way that you, know, you can do leverage. You, know, you can leverage your money so that you can actually do more with it. Yeah, so that's a very flowery view on margin, right? And you know, in order to do options trade, you usually have to activate margin. But the downside of that is you don't, you're putting all, you're, you're using leverage, right? You're only putting a percentage down, right? And the, the, the obvious downside to that is, is things going up is good. Once things start to go down, go against you, you're in trouble and you if it depends on your liquidity at that point. So while he's talking about something that's important, the point is, is that you heard him just then saying that, well, okay, if you wanna do options, you have to have it. This is the whole thing about having margin is that margin opens up so many additional options to what you can do. I mean, you can't even take advantage of a downturning market unless you have margin. Like you can't short sell, you can't like do anything that's taking advantage of a bearish market unless you already are approved and are using margin. So your options are just so much more diverse when you actually have it. Now, the problem is that you have to know more than just yourself, right? Because I mean, if you look at some of the data, the, the use of margin is at its highest level ever and everybody's using margin. And the thing is, when th like when everything was going up, it's all it's all great. But once people start, um, once everything starts going down, that's when the the evil words of margin call come, right? And then your portfolio quickly goes down, and it's kind of a self fulfilling prophecy where as other, everything else goes down, everything you they just it just attacks you right and then you get that margin call right it's like give me money now to your account or we're going to automatically automatically liquidate everything in your account right so what tony's talking about can happen but that only happens to people who don't actually have a plan because like we've talked about before like in our workshops and in our programs the whole thing about trading stocks is not about you know like what you're using or what strategy you're using or what you're doing. It's about actually, do you know what you're doing? Do you have the education? Do you actually have a plan in place? Because the reason that things like margin calls cause panic and makes you make people like not know what to do and you know people lose all their money is because they got emotional. They didn't know what they were doing. They didn't actually have a plan in place for what to do when the stock market started going down or when like when things weren't going their way. The whole point of actually succeeding is that when you use margin, you have to have a plan in place of, okay, I'm getting in here, I'm getting out here. And using, being able to plan minimizes your risks and also lets you take advantage of margin like the best way. But the, the problem with what you're saying is it's an individual plan, right? And it doesn't take into account market conditions. You know, you, there's different types of market. There's foreign exchange, there's futures, there's real estate. And then if you're using margin and all of that, and there's some kind of market, um, just overall market sentiment, you can't, you can't plan for that, right? You, you're an individual, everything else is crashing. And now you're in a position where you need to sell whatever is the most liquid, right? And your plan, if you're like 100% margin, you're in trouble, right? You, you just, you can't sell enough stuff to make up for it. And then you're just, you're, you're basically selling at a loss for everything. So what you just said right there is the, an example of somebody who did not really plan. Because when you're actually doing a plan for a person who, like nobody that I know of, who really is like thinking like conscientiously about their financial situation, 
will put 100% like in gambling. Like nobody puts 100% of their finances in gambling. I mean, it's about, you know, knowing the different risk levels of the things that you want to do and making a, a total financial plan of how much of margin can you use? Can you apply to give you the most benefit with the least risk? So it's that whole thing is not about the problem with margin. It's not actually a problem with margin. It was a problem with the planning of the person who was using margin. And there, there's a difference between that. And that's one of the reasons why it's more important that people actually you know, go to a, one of our workshops or get some education or do one of our programs because like we we're showing, it's not actually to do with what the actual thing is like margin. It actually has to do with the person having the knowledge, having the ability and having the skills to make good decisions for themselves for what's right for them. Yeah, so like make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, comment if you if you enjoyed this video and if you wanna hit see like other topics like this, um, definitely sign up for a workshop. That's where you can get the most information that you can, that you'll need for making the decisions that you wanna do for your financial future.